continuing with the show. Crazy Craig Dales and manager Kevin Griggs. Uh, this time, you ready? Solo shot three. This is the bomb. In the upcoming videos at the racetrack, you will see some really, really good photography. This guy right here. Live footage from on top of the Crazy Craig trailer. I'm going to talk, try to try to get it into some pretty unique places where a person can't stand with a camera. You know, like straight down the track where the emergency crew parks. Uh, completely automated. It'll track a car. Up to 2,000 feet away. How far is a quarter mile? 1,320 feet. So, perfect. Got a 128 gigabyte card. It shoots in 4K. Um, got some filters for it. Uh, probably going to need to get a nice hard case because it, although it came with the tripod case, I would definitely invest in some protection for this baby. This is the Solo Shot 3 Optic 65, which the zoom is incredible. At 4K, the zoom is incredible on this thing. We're gonna pit, you're gonna pit at the, right finish, at the line, finish line. It's and it's gonna be on top of your trailer, so we'll be able to see the see the head to head of yeah, the cars. Yeah. When I go across the finish line, when, yep. we're, when we're wheel to wheel. Yep. So, Solo Shot 3, open box. So we bought the Solo Shot 3, when they announced that there was a deal. So we're going to give it a try with drag racing. Haven't seen anybody doing it with drag racing ever. So we're going to open the box, let you guys see what came in the box, and uh, get this thing set up and get it out to the track and test it out. So let's open the tripod first. Okay. So comes in a nice case, wrapped up very well. Bubble wrap, uh oh. The kids are going to go school. Bubble wrap. All right, Noah, bubble wrap. Share it with your brother. Oh, so, so now this cam, this will be on top of the trailer, correct? This will be on top Boring. of the trailer. So pretty nice tripod. Um, it's got a hook on it so we can hang a weight on it. Maybe that's supposed to be that way. So there's the tripod. Tripod deal. Uh, it's, it's a fairly basic tripod. It's got the 3 8 connector, so it's not standard. Although I'm sure we can stick it on some other tripod, but a free tripod, a free tripod. So. We'll get that out of the way. Put that over there. So, came with this case. Uh, I'm not sure if the whole thing can fit in this case, including camera, but I think we're going to end up getting a. Uh, I think we're going to end up getting a hard case for it, so it can travel safe with Crazy Craig, because uh, he likes to drop stuff. <laughs> I don't do it intentionally. I just don't have the dexterity right. in my hands. All right. Let's get this thing opened up. Right, okay. Go. Whoa. Go ahead. Okay. So. Like a cake. That's a knife. That's not a knife. So, get that box opened up. Yeah. All right. Nice packaging. There we go. Voila. Let's see what's inside the box. Solo Shot 3. Get that opened up. Oh, my. Whoa. What's all this? So, little compartment. We've got a USB charging cable that goes to, looks like, Micro Can't USB. So we've got the tag. This is the tracking tag. Oh, that'll be in the car, right? This will be in the car, on top of the car. It has to have a clear vision of the sky. Okay. So we can stick it on the window or something. What's up, buddy? Um, okay. Let's go with this box. Oh, the good old uh, manual. That I never read. Me neither. Let's see. So this is the quick start guide and the user safety guide. We'll throw those in the trash. What is this? There's something in there. Let's pushing buttons. I have no idea what that was. So there's something in there. No. Okay, so we have this part, which is, oh, there's the arm strap. This is the arm strap for this. All right, so armband inside of this part is the wrench for the tripod. The mount. Don't use pliers. 
Okay. Yeah, don't use pliers. So here we go. This is the Optic 65 camera. Look at this beauty. Look at that thing. Optic 65, it's all inclusive camera. It's got a 52 millimeter thread. We've got filters and a uh, polarizing filter and some ND filters. It's got a little tag on it right here for a little safety leash in case you crazy Craig it. I mean, drop it. <laughs> so anyway, I gotta ask you, how do you control the zoom while it's up on the top of the truck? You, uh, you have link your phone to it. Oh, your phone. Your phone, you can control it with your phone. You can zoom. They just came out with a bunch of new features. You can do a motion time lapse. You can track stars. You can broadcast live. Yeah, I like that. You can that. take still images. Wow. You can you can manually control it. So if we're in your studio, they're they're working on an indoor tracking device. Yeah. I think it's a sensor that you put in the room and it gives it a location. And so if you have this tag on you in your studio and you can walk back and forth. Nice. And it'll follow you and zoom in and out. And you can start and stop recording with your phone. As we can see the box is it's empty. It looks like there's some nooks and crannies. I don't know what this is. I think this might be a tripod adapter. Oh, it is a tripod adapter. So you can use this. It's a little tiny plastic. I'd probably get an aluminum one. We can put it on a standard quarter 20, quarter 20 tripod, and it increases it to 3 8 thread. because like the, the one that's on the, on the camera now. Yeah, the camera's on it. So it fits in here. Screw it into that, and then you can put it on a standard tripod. So if you need to do a monopod or anything like that. But anyway... There's the tracking base, the camera. Let's do a let's do a snap on. Oh, it's got a button. <laughs> There's a button right here. You have to push to get the camera on and off. Push the button really far down, and the oh, oh. almost did a crazy Craig right there. There it goes. Don't do that. So camera's on the base. This is basically the whole unit right here. The tag, the tag mounts to the front for charging, right there. So. But the tag will go on the roof of the Beretta and uh, yep. somewhere in the dragster mount, maybe even on my wrist. Yep. And you can start and stop recording with the tag. Turn it on and off with the tag. Zoom in with the tag. Really? Yeah. So it's got it's got a, a microphone port, so we can plug a wireless microphone in. Nice. Um, it's got. The USB charging, it's got HDMI output somewhere down here. So there's, you have mini H, no, it's micro HDMI and USB power. There's a charging port. This is supposed to last four hours on one charge. I doubt that, that that's rated at 4K. I really doubt that it's rated to last four hours at Maybe 4K. So we've got a little cover. There's a little, oh, micro SD slot is on the camera itself. So get this, folks. 128 gigabyte memory card is under an hour of video. So that is a gigantic video file. I don't think we're going to be doing 4K video. So it's got a bunch of cool frame rates. I think we're going to be in the 1080, 1080 um, picture quality at 1080 and frame rates at like uh, 120 or 240, because that'll get some good, real good slow motion footage. But anyway, that's it. I'm dying to get this thing set up, updated, get it going and doing some testing and let you guys see what this thing can really do. So the next race is the 20... Yeah, we're going to do, we're going to have live footage. The whole crew is going to be out on the 24th. Of this month, March. March 24th and... Uh, Auto Club Dragway Fontana. Yep. So I like that it... Uh, Packs up nicely back into the case, although we're probably going to get a hard case for it just to be sure. It's smaller than I thought it would be, so it's not that bulky. But that's it. So that was all that stuff for six ninety nine, right? Six ninety nine. What used to be nine ninety nine. Oh wow. Eight ninety nine or nine ninety nine. So um, yeah, that's why we couldn't pass that one up. It's a pretty good price drop. A um, lot more people are using it. It's now, it's been in development for a long time. A lot more people are using it, so. I do believe we'll be the see. first to use it at the dry strip, though. I do believe so, and it's a San Diego based company, so. We should invite them out. We should invite them out to see what they think about their camera being used on drag racing. We should so. do that. So, solo shot. 
three. Did you write that down? Okay. doesn't get much better than that. Don't think that it does. I gotta go. <laughs> this is the bomb. This is the bomb. This is the bomb. We interrupt this program for a special news bulletin. Bulletin, bulletin. <laughs> it has been reported to us here in Zimbabwe at Channel 45 at the Griggs residence in Riverside, California. There is a bomb threat because Crazy Craig Dales is there for some unknown reason to us. It says, this is the bomb, the bomb, this is the bomb. <laughs> Stay tuned for further information right here from Zimbabwe's Channel 45, Basil P. Nerdlinger III reporting to you about the whereabouts and the howabouts and the whoabouts of Crazy Craig Dales. Now, back to your regularly scheduled program.